Hey guys, it's Di from Me Mommy with Style and I wanted to sit down and do like a chatty style vlog because I'm finally starting to get my voice back just a little bit and I had a number of topics that I wanted to talk about. So today's topic is going to be how I get everything done, kind of my time management and how I organize my day and how I get videos done for multiple channels and manage everything. So it really is quite complicated, but I've figured out like a formula that works for me and that's really the thing is you have to figure out what works for you, what works for your lifestyle, and what works for your channels too because different types of videos um, kind of need different types of things. So just right off the top I want to say that this is very unusual, but I'm actually filming this video like at 10 o'clock at night, so I've got my lights on, um, but that's the nice thing about lighting kits is that you can film at pretty much any time of day and you can still have really nice lighting. But I don't typically film at night, I typically film during the day. So first of all, let me just say I've been on YouTube for four years and a couple of the people that had questions about this, um, a couple of people asked about it on my channel plans. like you know, how I manage everything, and then I've had it on some older videos as well, so that's why I thought I would talk about it. Um, but I would say that it does get easier the more that you do YouTube. So the more that you do YouTube and you get used to uploading things, writing descriptions, you get a really good default description in there that has all of your key information in the bottom so you're not having to duplicate those things. Um, having all that set up really, really helps. Because in the beginning, you're still figuring out how to get everything uploaded, you're still figuring out how to film. Like when I sit down to film, I just turn on my lights, I know the angle of the camera, I just get the focus set in, so it's hopefully focused, and um, I just go. So I, in the beginning, a lot of that takes a lot more time, so it takes a lot more time to film. So the more you do it, practice makes not necessarily perfect, I don't want to say that, but the more practice that you have, the easier it gets. Same thing with editing. Editing takes a lot of time. If you do YouTube, then you know that editing is really big. It's like the biggest portion of the time. It's really easy to sit down and film a bunch of videos. The bulk of the time is getting them edited from uploading the video to your computer and then actually sitting down and piecing the parts together to finalizing it and then getting it uploaded. All those parts take time not just for you to handle all the pieces but also waiting for your computer to process and that's something I'm running into lately because I do use a MacBook and it's about three or three or so years old. Um, it's just out of warranty so it's over three years old. And, you know, I use it a lot for YouTube and doing videos and things like that. So I'm starting to see where it's slowing me down. Like, I could edit faster, but because I have so many files or it's maybe not, you know, the fastest computer anymore, um, it's starting to hold me back. So I am looking at getting a newer MacBook. I really like the MacBook for editing. I originally, when I first started out, if you look back way back on my original videos on Bakes for Bubbles, and I think even my first videos on Bee Mom Moose Style, I used to use a Windows-based laptop and Windows Movie Maker, and it, while it was really easy to use, I made the jump to MacBook, and I have never regretted it. Definitely worth the money, definitely worth the investment, and I really like the iMovie platform, and that's what I currently use. I've never felt the need to buy any other fancy software because iMovie does everything that I need as a content creator, just making general like chatty videos or day in the life vlogs and things like that. It's not like I'm adding in like explosion scenes behind me or anything. So iMovie has really worked out great and um, I do have to regularly update my cameras. I've gone through cameras like water since I started YouTube. I really like the Canon point and shoots. I'm actually just getting ready to get another one because the one that I'm using right now is like super broken from being dropped so many times. Um, that's the one thing if you vlog, you drop cameras a lot. And I'm getting ready to upgrade into like an S120 because it's a good kind of compromise between that light point and shoot and a clear picture. So. That's my plan as far as camera. And then for the time management part, what really honestly enables me as a mom and a wife, and I have a lot of things that I do outside of the house, I have a lot of responsibilities here in the house, I take care of the kids, I'm the full-time parent basically, I'm taking care of all that stuff, um, is the batch either batch filming if possible, so like right now I could sit down and film multiple videos at one time and then release them 
uh, at later dates across time. But then batch editing and batch like scheduling is really what saves me and that's what allows me to upload at the rate that I do. So right now, I talked about it in my channel plans, I'm actually on a week delay with Be Mommy with Style because it allows me that breathing time to actually have more time to edit and it takes a lot of the stress off. Um, when I have more time during the day, I will probably pull it up more to real time. Um, but the week delay really, really has helped me as far as being able to have things scheduled out and I know that the videos are there. I just like having that peace of mind. So what I would typically do is I will get enough footage filmed for usually Be Mommy With Style and one or two other channels. I will get it all uploaded onto my computer and then I will edit it at one time. So I will generally sit down at night and film and, and edit um, one to two to three videos just depending on how much time I have. Typically, I always film during the day. Obviously, day in the life videos, that's filmed throughout the day. Those are the easiest to film because you're just filming what you'd be doing anyways. Um, sit down videos, I either try to find a space of time where Natalie is here and she entertains herself really nicely. She will go entertain herself and I get like 20 minutes to go film a video, which works great. Or both the girls do have a couple times that overlap where they're both in school. So I really try to utilize that time, especially when I need to do something that's like either a project or something where I, you know, need a longer span of time. And then so I typically never film at night, however editing, I usually always do that at night after the girls are in bed. I bring my laptop down to like our family room area and my general routine is that I edit every single night. Um, pretty much every single night I'm editing a video and that is what allows me to get videos out at a scheduled rate. Um, it works for me and I am able to take some nights off, so a lot of times you'll see me take weekends off, which usually means I've taken the weekend off previous, um, but my voice is holding out, hooray, but um, that the scheduling aspect of YouTube, once I really was able to utilize that, that was the big click for me to be able to be able to schedule out more content and have things ready to go. Because you know as moms we get busy and if we're having to wait to the last minute to, you know, oh I gotta edit this and I have to upload it right after I edit it, things happen and then you get sidetracked and before you know it, it's two, three days later and you didn't get a chance to upload it. That's how I was in the beginning. I would, you know, film and then I would try to, I would film during nap time and then I would edit the next nap time and then I would try to get it uploaded as soon as possible. But you know, if you get sidetracked, if you're trying to do that real time upload, um, it can kind of throw you off and if you're trying to have regular uploads, the scheduling aspect of YouTube is really nice. So I don't know what aspects they, um, what your channel has to have for you to have that option. I have seen people talking about it in different YouTube forums. Some people have it, some people don't, and I don't know what the, you know, statistics are or whatever that you have to have that to get that scheduling function. But once you do get that scheduling option, it's really, really nice. So say you want to have videos uploaded on Monday and Wednesday or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can actually start working on that over the weekend or as soon as you want and have those scheduled out and ready to go during the week. So scheduling is really the big thing that has allowed me to manage my time the most efficiently. Other than the scheduling making me more efficient, I would say there's little tricks that you learn along the way as far as the best times to film and um, the best times to edit that work with your schedule. Also little tricks like right now, I'm filming with my DSLR and it cuts off at 10 minutes. This is what my Nikon DSLR does. So I've learned this along the way. So when I'm filming, I set a timer for myself that cuts off before that 10 minutes. So I don't just sit here and talk and then it's wasted time because my camera has turned off and is not filming anything. And that did happen to me when I was first starting out and using this DSLR and learning everything. So you learn those little tricks as you go along that really help you be more efficient with your time. So that way if you have a block of 20 minutes, you can sit down, get your video done, it's done, and then you can set your time aside to edit later. So I hope that there's been some information there that's helpful. It really does get easier the more you do it. I know that mainly the people that had questions about you know the time management in YouTube or people that were just starting out or newer to YouTube. 
and if it's you know like your first couple months or first year it really does get easier the more and more you do it so I've been on YouTube now for almost four years and you know the first year or two it was really kind of just fitting it in when I could and a lot more stressful as far as I was trying to turn around videos immediately but now that I have figured out what works for me as far as scheduling, it really has taken a lot of the stress off and it's allowed me to be more efficient in my uploading as well. So let me know if you have any questions down below. I'd be happy to answer those for you guys. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.